you gonna, he's gonna come with the job. Watch out. So welcome to my show. Everybody your fishing Ooh. pole. That's a team. Come on now, let's go. Home. Ah. See how oh. <laughs> hey folks, this is Zach Hammontree here with Legendary Fishing. Uh, today we're going to do a little exploratory fishing. Um, I know when we are moving here to Thibodeau, uh, we actually passed uh, a section of road that had, a, <clears throat> had canals on either side. Now, I'm pretty sure they're freshwater canals, uh, being that we are a fair distance from, uh, from the Gulf. So it's either one of two things it is either fresh water or brackish water either way um gonna just use some basic stuff just start out with basics You're just gonna use some worms uh small hooks see what we can get and then move up from there uh i may throw away around throw around some artificials maybe be able to get a, a nice bow fin or something like that um either way Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope we catch a lot of fish. Um, and see you when we get there. Alright guys. So this is where we're gonna be, at least for now. There's a bridge right there, got some current flowing under it. I've seen quite a few fish roll around here. Hadn't been able to tell what what they are exactly. Not 100% sure on what is even down here, but I do know it is brackish water because we have little hermit crabs and stuff. So, pretty sure it's brackish. Um, see a lot of shells, but uh, we're gonna get the fishing, see what happens. I'm gonna start with a uh, slow red wiggler worm small hook see if we can get some little sunfish going and then maybe after that use sunfish for bait uh see if we can get some catfish or some uh both in uh, we just saw another fish roll i'm not sure what they are see some bubbles for sure see an alligator out there just saw several fish roll so let's get to it see what happens Actually, on second thought, I might actually take this weight, uh, this float off. Just let it fall naturally. Got another bite. Oh, I missed him. Yep, yeah, I'm taking this float off right quick. All right, no, no float this time. I'm gonna throw it next to that tree. See if I, oh, wait, what do I got? Oh, a little green sunfish. Okay. Little bitty green sunfish. I'm not going to keep that guy for bait. Try and find something a little bit bigger. Oh, wasn't exactly a graceful release, but he went straight back into the water. So we've got little bitty, little bitty fish. Oh, wait, we oh, got something. Uh, he got us hung up on something. I'm not getting in this water with my new shoes. <laughs> I can see him down there. He's tangled up in somebody else's line, and it's a war mouth. We got a war mouth, and he's hung up in somebody else's line. You got to break it. Hey, oh, yep, broke it. Dead gummit. 
All right, maybe we can get another one. Let's go across the road real quick. See what we can do over here. Oh, there's a little bitty gar. First thing I saw. See if I see him again. He did turn and come after it, but. It was behind him. Oh, I had something. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Didn't even realize it. That's interesting. I see a gar right next to that tire that's in the water. Oh, I had him. What I got? What I got? Come on. Come out of there. Oh, it's a little bass. A little dinky bass. It's not what we're after. I want something cool, something interesting, something different. I'm still going to take a picture of him. All right. Let's see if we can get something a little bit interesting. So yeah i broke off that jig head went ahead and put on another worm completely weightless ah, and instantly got hung up again all right oh but i did not break off that's the good part Oh, it, damn it. That's what happens when you use too much bait, too much worm. Yeah, you get a lot more attention, but... Come on. Are you serious right now? You gonna get me wrapped around this? Little bush here. Okay. Now, this is big enough to use for bait. Oh, <clears throat> green sunfish. Go ahead and get a picture of this guy. Being that I'm going to go ahead and use him. Alright. 
Now, the difference is I am going to be moving around using using the worm. So I'm going to throw this out right here and I'll prop it up. Turn my drag down. See what else we can get. And we have a juvenile long ear sunfish. Maybe female. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little guy right there. Alright. Hoping for a warm mouth. I really am. Like, I had that one get on. But, he obviously got off. You guys wouldn't have seen him. Another little greeny and another little green sunfish. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go for crazy and see if I can use this guy. Bait over here on this other side. I've got that drag turned way down, so if something gets on it, it should just pull the drag. Oh, he grabbed it. I know you guys weren't able to see that fish. But... He was just swimming with it as fast as he can. Well, I said that and he stopped. There's a bunch of small gar in here. I see another one. There's, I'm not sure how well it picks up on the camera, but there's one. It's right, right like at the tip of my rod here. Let's see what happens if I do this. Do I have a little baby gar? I think I got a hook in him, actually. Oh, he jumped and threw it. He jumped and threw it. Let's see another one. Let's see if I can get another bite. Oh, oh, the aggression that that one hit it with was outstanding. <laughs> he launched after it. Normally, they'll just swipe at it and you barely grab it. That one flew out of the water after. That was a good take. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, he spit it too. Kind of this is a much larger bait than these gar would be able to take in that short of a time. I'm just like, I'm not trying to get a fish to swallow the hook or nothing. Yeah. There goes like three gar. One right after the other. Got one on. 
had him grab it. I can see him. I doubt you guys can see him, but I can see him. And of course, like most gar, he's just holding it in his mouth. Trying to figure out what in the world to do with this thing. They're about, well, hello, Mr. Mullet. I mean, I don't know. They're about a foot, foot and a half long, little guys. I'm watching this one just up there munch on it. I can actually see the bait in his mouth. And he's trying to work it. Oh, he just got it all the way in his mouth. Come on, guy. Let me act. Oh, dang it, he threw it too. I thought that one had it. I thought that was the one. My little green sunfish getting pretty chewed up. Let me check on that other rod. I think there's something on it, guys. Nah, maybe not. No. Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. It is moved, and it is heavy. Now it's not currently moving, but yeah, something's on there. What do we got, guys? What y'all think? Yeah, there's a fish on there. Well, we got a gar, a catfish, bowfin. It's a bowfin. Yes. I just wish I had a net. <laughs> that was a little run. One of my all time favorite fish to catch in fresh water. Awesome, awesome fish. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. Now, I'm going to let you go. Oh, my line got tangled up around my rod. If I'd have brought my net with me, it's at the house. I didn't even think about it. All right, buddy. Come on. Come on, guy. trying to drag you up on the bank but I might have to then it's eight she she is hooked right in the corner of the mouth they are very very slippery I think I got her now. Hook is out. Sorry about all the grit and the grime on this fish. But there we go. Nice female bowfin. All right. Uh, I think this is only the second one on the channel. wonderful wonderful fighting fish love these fish out and actually hmm. well there she goes that's one of my top favorites easily 
I'd say, depending on the tackle. Oh, there she went, took a breath of air. Depending on the tackle, is one of the, is one of if not the hardest fighting fish in fresh water. And you see, no no leader. And there's not a scratch on the on the line. All right, let's get another piece back out there. Train's coming through. So this right here, obviously a bridge. You can see how the uh, the water color changes depending on the side of the uh, bridge you're on. And uh, the reason that is is because on this side it's swamp. There's there's no open water. So this water's flowing through here because of uh, recent rains, like it was raining earlier today. And uh, then on this side, it's clearer water. Now I'm not going to say it's clear water, but it is clearer water. Um, and so when it comes through these floodgates here, you can see these fish rolling in here. I don't know what they are. Uh, when these uh, this water's flowing through here, it's really dark chocolate milk looking water flowing into eh. A little bit clearer water i mean it's not horrible see all the oyster shells and oh we got a, there's a fish on here let's see what we got oh it must have been a gore came off all right gotta get more bait be right with you guys so i got a little another green sunfish um what i'm doing what i did i went ahead and smacked him on the ground so he'd be dead when i threw him out and there's not gonna be any swimming around and stuff like that um <clears throat> but i also brought my other rod over that i just caught the bow fin on to the same area because i see a lot more activity here but yeah i'm seeing a lot of activity back where i had it but right here like i'm seeing multiple fish roll um, at one time like i j literally just saw one roll right here uh now i know these are gar i don't know if both in are mixed in i don't know if there's many catfish in here don't really know what all's in here but what i do know is there's a lot of activity right here and i'm gonna try and capitalize on that for the short period of time that we are here That surprised me how fast I had a fish on. So another way that I know that this is brackish water, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a crab right here. Let's see if he'll grab this sunfish. I don't know if you can see him move right then, but there's a little blue crab right here, right in front of my line, right in front of my rock on the bottom, obviously. And there he goes. Oh, there's another one. Look. Oh, something wrong with him. There's a little crab right there. Oh, he's dead, I guess. They're dead or dying. I see another one. There's several right here. Huh. I do have another bite now. He's taking line. So. <clears throat> Actually, I just realized I have 5% battery left. I will come back if I get this fish hooked up. I don't know if you can see the alligator or not, but he's right in front of me. I threw out and he was trying to chase my bait. Which what I'm doing is reeling this bait real slow right under the surface of the water. Oh, I just hit him right in the head. <laughs> That actually wasn't intentional. Oh, I think I got a bite over here. Yeah. 
Never mind, guess not. about got too dark for me to film so it's honestly not going to be long before I uh, head on back to the house I don't know if you guys can see that this little gator he's a little five footer or so it's a little dark now Yeah, he's just right in front of me. There's another one back there behind him. It's a bit bigger. There was one over here. That was a good bit bigger. Oh yeah, yeah, the one that's on the other side of the bayou. He's probably a good 11 foot or so. He's a pretty good size gator. This one here is a little dinky one. Shoot, that's that's the eating size, a good eating size right there. Oh. oh, something nailed this one. I don't know if he's still on. Yeah, he's still on there. Whatever it is. I got it for now. It looks like a cat. Oh yeah, it's spinning like crazy. Yep, yeah, a little, a little cat. Make sure the gator's not coming over here to grab my arm instead of the fish. Let me go ahead and pull this dude away from the water. reaching into the water knowing that there was just an alligator looking at me hello all right there we go got him got it out all right hello oh shoot oh i didn't get a picture of him but oh well that's gonna be it for today anyways um and go ahead and head back gotten a little bit too dark to film that's really the only reason i came out today was to do some filming and uh let's see to get these rods done all right folks so that's gonna be it for tonight i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh i had a great time you know finding new places um yeah and checking them out uh seen some gators got a bow fin which was great little dinky bass nobody cares about them um almost got a couple of gar in and still hadn't been able to get a warm mouth on video uh had the one on got me tangled up an old line broke me off uh or i had to break it off um but hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe uh leave a comment uh you know just let me know um something that you're you would like to see in future videos um whether it's uh, we're going to be doing more salt water but if it's more surf fishing pier fishing um out in the kayak if you want to see more swamp stuff um just let me know what uh, what you think what you would like to see um but yeah, see you guys next time.